Convicted former U.S. gymnastics doctor Larry Nassar has been hospitalized after being stabbed in prison. The disgraced former physician, who is currently serving time behind bars for sexual abuse, was stabbed multiple times at a federal facility in Florida during a dispute with another inmate, a prison union leader confirms to NBC News. Joe Rojas, president of the organization that represents employees at the federal correctional complex Coleman, tells the outlet that during the July 9th altercation, the 59-year-old was stabbed twice in the neck, twice in the back, and six times in the chest, resulting in a collapsed lung. Nassar is currently in stable condition, according to Rojas, who says he confirmed the information with staff on duty. The Federal Bureau of Prisons also confirms to NBC News that an inmate was assaulted at the federal location in Florida, but did not confirm any identities. However, authorities did reveal that staff provided life-saving measures and that the injured prisoner was being treated at a local hospital. No staff or other inmates were injured, and at no time was the public in danger, officials tell the outlet in a statement, adding that the FBI has been notified. An internal investigation is ongoing. E! News has reached out to Nassar's attorney for comment, but has not heard back. The altercation comes a little more than five years after Nassar, who had served as team doctor for the U.S. Women's National Gymnastics Team, was sentenced to serve 40 to 175 years in prison after he pleaded guilty to sexually assaulting gymnasts and other athletes under the guise of medical treatment. The sentence in the sexual abuse case came just months after he was sentenced to 60 years in federal prison after pleading guilty to three child pornography charges in 2017. At the time of his 2018 sentencing, over 150 survivors came forward and delivered impact statements or had them read by the court, including gymnast Ali Reisman and Jordan Weber. Gold medalist Simone Biles also came forward as one of the survivors, penning an emotional letter to social media at the time. Last June, the Michigan Supreme Court rejected a final appeal from Nassar, a former Michigan State University clinician.